Hey guys, all right, uh, I'm just gonna do a really quick and dirty video today. It's too cold outside, I can't really roll the camper out. It's too cold in the garage for glue and stuff to set up. Also, I don't have really enough space to do any of the work that I need as a big man. Uh, so I thought what would be kind of cool though is just to test and see if the electrical I have planned is even gonna work. So I'm gonna hook up the battery today, um, the fuse panel, and the dome light and just see if my plan will even work or if I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board and figure this stuff out. Um, dirty video, no camera, using just my cell phone today, so sorry if the quality isn't quite up to my normal standard. I uh, hope you enjoy. <sighs> yeah, I can see my breath though, it's too cold. Okay, so I don't know if you remember what my plan is going to be for electrical. For the most part, I just plan on powering everything using some sort of battery. Um, this is the Flashfish. I'm not sponsored. Just this is what I bought because this was the cheapest. I eventually do plan on maybe getting a Jackery or one of the bigger brands just because they work better. This one here is kind of iffy. In any case, um, plan is to run... DC to an SAE port that's going to be on the trailer that's going to run a 10 gauge up to the fuse panel which is going to distribute all the power to all the individual ports and lights and so forth that I have up in the trailer itself. So light 12 volt that feeds into S or that plugs into the trailer directly. The fuse panel is here. And then I'll take this guy and run it to the dome light. I already have all the wires run, so what I'm going to test today is just to see if this is even going to work, right? So, take a look. Okay, so my thought process to test all this is I'm just going to pull the 10 gauge out from the trailer, pull the cable that's going to go to the dome light out of the trailer, hook up the fuse panel, hook up the dome light, and the battery, and see what happens. Currently, everything kind of connects right here. Yes, you are looking at this cat corner. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the main supply right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the dome light cable, which is right here. All right. This is the main power supply. That's the cable running to the dome light. Alright, since I'm going to hook this up to the posts, I first got to go ahead and get the uh, terminal adapt or um, attached to the cables that'll um, attach to the battery posts. So, to do that, go ahead and pull off some of the insulation. Then I'll go ahead and feed all of this into my post or my connection right here. I'm sure, there's probably electricians turning into grace right now, but this is the only way I know how. Would just be nice if I actually saw a little better. almost forgot I gotta make sure I put the uh, heat shrink wrap on here too because I do want to go ahead and heat shrink wrap this guy also just kind of help I already dry fit it at once so I know this works Okay. 
that in. Crimp that down. Shrink up, go ahead and get a lighter. Okay, so yes, I realized there's better tools than a lighter. Go ahead and treat rent or uh, heat shrink something, but this is pretty much all I got because I can't really get to power and stuff right now at the time. Go ahead and heat shrink this down. Awesome. It's a nice strong connection. That's not going anywhere. So that should be a good start to the post, right? Let's go ahead and repeat that with the uh, negative. Or the ground, I guess. Here's this guy. I'm going to go ahead and snap my fingers. And movie magic is magically done. Okay, so I just said, are the, are the battery posts needed? No. Should I use them? You know what? I don't think so. Why? Because this is going to go into... I have no use for these outside of going into the fuse panel, and the fuse panel already has the connections. So I'm just going to feed these directly to the fuse panel and be done with it. Instead of trying to mess with trying to find a place to put the battery posts and all that fun stuff. So, put these guys right there. Why can't they just keep these loose enough? Now while I'm doing all of this, I probably should go ahead and say I am no trained electrician. Everything I'm doing is by studying and Googling. So I really hope I'm not going to blow myself up doing all of this stuff. And also keep in mind, I don't have power connected to this yet, so I'm not worried about me getting zapped. Not quite yet. Okay, so at the beginning of the video, I promised you guys a shorter video, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this whole thing up, um, just so I can keep my promise. Uh, you will find me just literally just screwing the cables to the fuse panel directly, um, not using any sort of connections or anything. Keep in mind, I'm only testing the circuit here. I have the proper connections coming, and I'll make sure that all of this is done correctly and safely when it comes time to actually hardwire everything into the camper. Again, for today, I just wanted to test and see if this will actually work. Alright, so next we need to go ahead and get the ends of the dome light taken care of. Let me go ahead and pull these apart. Now this is just a very, very temporary splicing because I'll have to redo it later when I actually put install the dome mount from the bottom. So this is going to be very quick, very dirty, very easy to take apart. No shrink wrapping, nothing. So let's summarize. We have the SAE connector that'll be on the outside of the trailer 
feeding into the fuse panel. The fuse panel, of course, has then the wire for the dome light, and the dome light's attached up there. So the only thing I need to do now is provide some power. Now here's the interesting part on this battery. The socket out here, that socket's actually 24 volt. Um, so I'll be using the DC outs when I get a cable that fits that too. All right, turn the machine on, set it to DC, plug the sucker in. All right, moment of truth. Let's go ahead and turn on the light upstairs. If all goes the way it's supposed to, this light should turn on. And dun dun dun. That's what I get for following colors. I got the colors mixed up on this guy. I tested this bulb when I first got it, just to see if it even worked. And I did the same mistake. For some reason, in my head, I see black, and that's negative. All right. Time to test this again. Hopefully this time the power comes on. Oh, this shit don't work. It works! That's awesome! I have a battery down there, right? Yes. That's going to feed into the trailer. Mm -hmm. The cable here is going to go into the fuse box, uh -huh. which is right there. <gasps> and then the fuse box goes to all different lights. Are you electricing? Press the button on the dome light. On the inside? The white one. Nope, on top. Can you reach? <laughs> Battery turned off. Hang on. <laughs> It's okay, we can just edit that part out. Press the dome light. <gasps> oh, you did it! You electric! I electric and I didn't and it die! Worked. And the house is not in flames. Thank you all so much for watching this today. Um, if you found value in the video, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And of course, check us out at rightamountofcampy.net as well as our Instagram at rightamountofcampy. And I'll see you all next week.